Alright. Hey, what's up, you guys? Gavin here. Today we're going to be talking about Drake. Another Drake album. Uh, Nothing Was the Same is the album. So, yeah. Um, first off, we're going to start off with Tuscan Letter. Or Tuscan Letter. Leather? My bad. Um, yeah. So, let me get this up and running. Man, we got a lot of good topics today. Beats, mixes, theme, setting, mood, flow, slash spit, lyrics. So it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. <clears throat> Alright, so starting off, it kind of has like this weird... Like it sounds like it's being rewinded in the beginning of the song. Alright, and the lyrics... Man, here we go. Coming off the last record, I'm getting 20 million off the record. Just to off these records, my gun looks Alright, here Alright, so it's basically him spitting. Mm, I we made it. Yeah, Tom, Tom Ford's discussing why they smell like a brick. Degenerate's been in love with Tell them that I'm rich. It's really good. It feels like I don't know. A lot of his lyrics kind of they make you feel like you're right there beside him on a jet. You know, like usually when you hear people rapping, they usually rap about solemn things or they're expressing themselves or they're trying to get something off their mind, right? Well, for him, it's like you get that same experience, you know, the same beat, same flow, except it doesn't make you feel bad. It makes you kind of like feel confident. You feel kind of like, the end of the day, you're like, oh shit, yeah. Okay, that's right. You got a fucking champagne? Hell yeah. The differences with mine, they all come true in due time. I might come through without security to check if you're fine. That's just me on my solo. Like, fuck it, like YOLO. Like, I don't know. This is the type of rap that's kind of like... It's a whole other version of rap that usually people aren't really... They don't really usually agree with it. They usually like... Oh, Drake sucks. You know, that's not rap, la 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 la. But in all honesty, you have to, you know, ask yourself, does it have a beat? Does he flow? Does it make sense? Does it rhyme? Like, if all these answers to these questions are yes, then in in his defense, it's, it's technically rap. <laughs> you know? Like, just because it's not sad or it doesn't have a, you know, sad message or he didn't, it's not really about struggles, doesn't mean it's not rap. Like, if that's what you consider rap, then a lot of rap isn't rap. And rap is, you know, rhythm and and poetry. Right? That's what rap is. Rhythm and poetry. If that's the case, then this is, this is rap. And it's kind of a rap that I prefer versus, you know, I'm not really the type of person who likes to be sad all the time. I like to be unhappy all the time. Or, you know... I don't like to think about my struggles because it's just, it keeps me from achieving things throughout the day or it just makes me in a bad mood and, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, treat my family terribly because of how I'm feeling, like that, that sucks. And if I am going to do that, at least I'm going to be happy about it. And 
that's why if you like if you're like me if you don't like to listen if you like rap you like rhythm and poetry then but you don't like you know uh, hearing about how people suffered who who likes to hear about that I mean I guess you feel you know you need something to relate to you feel alone yeah I guess that makes sense but my the relation goes only so far like you can't feel bad for yourself all the time and you're not alone even if you feel alone you're not alone like they really say that if you make a difference in your life if you make a difference in someone else's life you might make a difference in your life like try it out so yeah if you like rap that's good flows really well but has like makes you feel confident, makes you feel better about yourself or makes you, you know, makes you feel rich I don't know then I would listen to Drake it's definitely good for you know if you're having a good day and you, you know you feel on the top of the world you feel like you can do anything you wanna listen to it with a good beat I would listen to Drake so yeah the next song we have on here is the furthest thing now this song, who girl? When I first heard this song, I was like, "Fuck, how this this mother effer knows how to make music? He knows how to make music. He knows how to get the producers, write producers, and put together some crazy stuff. Because it starts off with like, I don't know, it's like a piano, and then like." The first, the first line, the first line on this thing, I could have wrote so related to this for some reason. I was just like, "This is my life, man. This is my life." <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but this is it. All right, so it goes somewhere between that psychotic and iconic, somewhere between I want it and I got it, somewhere between I'm sober and I'm lifted, somewhere between a mistress and commitment. Fuck. I'm gonna stay down, girl. I always stay down. Get down ever later. Promise to break everybody up before I break down. Everyone just waiting. So much on my plate now. People I believed in, they don't even show their face now. What they gotta say now? Nothing they can say now. Nothing really changed, but still they look at me away now. What can I say now? What more can I say now? You might feel like nothing was the same. I've been drinking on the low. Mobbing on the low, bucking on the low, smoking on the low, I've been still plotting on the low, scheming on the low, the furthest thing from perfect, like everything you know. God. I think it was from time that we're, we're gonna get to it, but. Um, when we do get to it, Just too busy running, just to run home to you. You know that, baby, my passion, bittersweet celebrations. I know I can't change what happened. I can't help it. I can't help. I was young and I was selfish. I made every woman feel like she was mine and no one else's. Now you hate me. Stop pretending. Stop that front and I can't take it. Girl, don't treat me like a stranger. Girl, you know I see you naked. Girl, you know that I remember. Don't be a pretender. Getting high at the condo. That's when it all comes together. You know. I stay reminiscing and make up sexist tradition. You've been missing, girl, and you might feel like nothing was the same. Bobbing on the low, fucking on the low, plotting on the low. <clears throat> Man, this is one of those songs that I would think I would listen to when I miss someone. I thought about them and they weren't with me and uh, I don't know I just I'm not going to this song so much and uh, man I would get so sucked up in my feelings
fudge. This is the life for me. Man, this song, this song makes me feel, I don't know, wasted or something. But, um. Oh, we're going to do 10 minutes on here. So, yeah. It's a pretty good song. We're going to move on to the next one. Which is Started From The Bottom. Now, everyone knows the song. It's Started From The Bottom now here. Alright, so, the first topic, I didn't really get to it, but I kind of talked about it. Which was beats and mixes. Now, for me, the beats and mixes were, like, really good. They were really original. Like, we're gonna skip to skip around on here. I'm gonna go to From Time. For me, like, the beats and mixes on this album were just like, they described how I feel. Like, they would go, it would start off really smooth and happy, like, really nice and just really good, and then somehow they would end up rewinding. Like, the beat, you could hear it rewinding, and you would just. It would it would just entrap me as a as a human being because not only did the lyrics understand me but somehow the music alone the melody the beat the the rhythm like it just all meshed well and it made me feel like I wasn't alone it was really cool I don't know how I was able to happen but he did a really good job on that the theme of this song I think the same the theme is that you know. Everything's changed. Nothing's diff Nothing's the same anymore. But is that necessarily a bad thing? I don't know. You know. And that's what I get from uh, from listening to this. Um, the setting and mood. Setting and mood. It depends. Some of these songs I listen to my own. When I'm like going on a walk or in the car or driving somewhere, just you know, feeling confident, you know, right before a party, listen to something crazy. Like, th like some of these songs are pretty good for that. At a party, you know, alone at a party, having a cigarette. <laughs> Since we kicked it, you've been caught up. Some of these other songs, like I have two songs in here that I would probably play for me and my girlfriend. I already talked about the flow in this bit. Lyrics. Can't talk about them. Alright, here's a good one. The album comparison. Is it better or worse than Thank Me? Um, it depends. I feel like Thank Me was more, you know, before everything, you know? Like, he was right in the middle of it coming up. He was, he was talking about the come up. You know, oh my god, From Time was one of these songs that I could not listen to. He was back to the basement. Vacation. That's the thing. This is my favorite lyric. I want to take it deeper than money, pussy vacation, influence a generation that's lacking in patience. I've been dealing with my dad. Man. You flower child, a beautiful child, I'm in your zone. Looking like you come from the 70s on your own. My mother is 66 and they're feeling like with this. Who the fuck wants to be 70 and alone? Y'all don't even know what you want from love anymore. I search for something I'm missing and disappear when I'm bored. Girl, what Claudius was looking for? for? You said for who better for you than the boy, huh? Yeah. Sheesh. She reminds me of this movie Hustle and Flow. Like I mean, it was more of a but a pimp. 
the Netherlands, just like some person, some actor from Canada. Um, to me, I think they're about equal. Like they both have songs that I could just not live without listening to. Like they both became part of my daily routine of things. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I don't want to describe how it sounds, but it's just he's rewinding the beat. And he's thinking about Texas when Porsche used to work at Treasures or further back than that before I had the Houston leverage. When I got somewhere, Michael Kors, my mom is Debbie, a weak attempt at flexing, I'll never forget it. Because at night I played her three songs and we talked about something we disagreed on. And she started telling me how I'll never be as Trey Strong's. Boy, was she wrong. But that was just negative negative energy for me to feed on. Now that's therapeutic blowing money in a galleria. Or Beverly Center Macy's where I discovered Bria. God, he's just like letting it out. Like it's just so intense. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can listen to these songs. Like... Oh my god. From Time is one of my favorite songs you I will ever listen to. Like I've never heard anything like it. Never been so like I, I mean maybe I have, but at this moment in time, at this very second, I feel like I haven't ever heard anything. I'll listen to this song. I feel like I've never heard anything like it. I feel like I've never heard anything Actually, there was one song, Chelsea Grin by, um, hold on, I think, yeah, I think that's what it's called, by Bring Me the Horizon, when they cut the, the music, and then they rewind it, and then it gets really intense, God, I don't know when to find another song like this, I might have to do it myself. But, um, God, I don't know how to, it's just like pumping, pushing that brake, man. Fucking intense. Um, is he better solo or with featured artists? Um, I, in my opinion, I think he's better solo. I think he's way better solo because. When he's solo, he's just, he's not really, you know, he's not influenced by anyone else. He's just talking about his life, his problems, his passions, you know, what matters to him. And I think, I like me, I like being, I like, I like that. I like being let into his world. I like being let into his life. What he sees, how he depicts things, you know, his relationships. Like, when I'm listening to someone's stuff, it's just, it's the type of intimacy that you can only get when you listen to them on their own. So, I really appreciate that. Anywho, um, I give this album 5 out of 5 stars because of the fact that I loved it. I loved the songs. I loved, uh, just, I think another good song was The Language. My friend introduced to me, it's like, I don't know why I've been lying, but your shit is not that inspiring. Jealousy in the air tonight, I could tell. I will never understand that, but oh well. Been ready, it's real. I don't know about you. Just want to smoke and fuck. I said, girl, that's all that we do. Okay, now you're talking my language. Sorry. Alright, so it's... <clears throat> Ooh, Connect was an intense song. A lot of these songs, at the time when I was listening to this album, when they first showed me this album, I was going through a lot. 
Right. Isn't it amazing how you talk all this shit and we still lack communication? How beautiful our kids would be, girl, I don't need convincing. How every conversation starts with this time will be different. Anyway, so pretty much there was, I don't know what was going on. I think my, like my brain was like this chip, this like, I don't know, this cement, piece of cement. And I was just taking one of those like hammer, uh, people use them when they sculpt things. That's what was going on in my brain. Like parts of my brain were being chipped away. And, uh. I don't know about you, but if you've ever been hit in the head or forgotten something or, you know, like you're not supposed to, that's on a, like a borderline of like brain damage. I mean, it is brain damage. So forgetfulness, mood swings. Like, there's a lot going on. Um, I'll have to make a separate video, or you can message me on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. All my all my social media links will be in the description uh, about these stories because I can't. I don't really want to disclose anything on YouTube, um, just because I'm. It's not really appropriate for the general audience. Uh, Rated E for everyone, but there's some other stuff that's rated T and M type stuff. So, yeah, if you want to know, if you're interested in learning about, you know, stuff that I talk about, stuff that I mention, um, my story, I'll probably make a, I might make a video that's for 18 and older, um, but I don't know how, how soon or if I'll ever do it. Uh, you want to know just message me anyway this has been a great uh, a, a great review and pretty much yeah uh, I'm gonna have to leave it at that video is almost 20 minutes long so um, yeah Peace. Uh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. See you guys.